Prices here in Oregon are slowly creeping down, but definitely not as quickly as they went up. Some experts say that's simple economics in the free market. But as Fox 12's Semi Gutierrez explains, there's a little more to it than that. Although crude oil prices are down significantly from a peak of $120 a barrel in early March, prices at the pump are still well over a dollar more than they were last year at this time. To get a better idea why that is, we spoke with a local economist who pays close attention to all of this. With prices at the pump still producing sticker shock for drivers filling their tanks, there's obvious frustration and questions about how long this might last. While the national average gas price has dropped to $4.07 a gallon, according to AAA, the average price in Oregon is $4.63. I think we do see a little bit moderation of the gas price in the United States. Yan Liang is endowed chair and professor of economics at Willamette University. Now, we've heard the president warning uh, oil companies uh, against price gouging. But again, we see the prices where they are and not really going down at any rapid rate. Uh, does he have any clout to, to really require these companies to, to price more uh, competitively? I don't really think so. I think, yes, in rhetoric, um, Biden wants to talk tough, right? Especially the midterm election is coming up, so he has to do something, right? Liang says oil producers can't easily or quickly ramp up production, especially since they scaled back during the pandemic, but they're also not necessarily incentivized to pump more oil. And they also have their own calculations, right? So if the price is high because of the lack of supply, they can take advantage of that. Isn't the idea that companies would take advantage of high prices and, and reduce supply or keep supply where it is to that end, isn't, isn't that price gouging? Yeah, I mean, I think you could definitely call that price gouging. Um, but of course, the oil companies would say, well, we're just doing uh, what we're supposed to do, right, based on the supply and demand. But I think you're totally right. Isn't sitting on supply artificially depressing supply and manipulating the market? I would totally agree with that, right? That they they are able to increase production and that, but then what you hear um, from some of the CEO uh, of these oil companies is they basically said, you know, there's no interest in um, just the increased investment in, in production of oil. And while President Biden has authorized the release of a million barrels of oil a day from the country's strategic reserves, that really amounts to just a few drops in the proverbial bucket. Let's put it in perspective, but that is only about 1% of the global oil supply and about 5% of the U.S.'s daily consumption. The U.S. Energy Information Administration predicts oil prices will remain high throughout 2022 and not fall below $100 a barrel until 2023. You can expect those high prices to continue to be reflected at the gas pump. I'm Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.